Good afternoon. Today, we're going to deal with 2D and 3D mold circle. Okay. Uh, some of you have done mold circle with me, and some of you have not. Okay. Anyway, those of you who have, do this as a revision. Those who have not, take this as a lecture. Okay. Before we do 2D and 3D mold circle, there are some terms that I need to describe with you, to you. And we are going to talk about plane stress and plane strain conditions. Okay. So if we were to look at an element. Okay, so I'm going to sketch out a 3D element now. Remember, now we're in a real world. The real world is never 2D. We simplify it to be 2D, but in the real world is what? It's 3D. Okay. So if we were to sketch an element, this is X and Y, and this is my Z. Okay, so now I'm sketching an element. So in an element like this, okay, there are three different direction in terms of normal stress. So we have normal stress. X, we have normal stress Y, and then we have normal stress Z. Okay. As you can see down here, it's all relative to the direction of or the orientation of the transformation. Now, if we were to analyze any structure that is considered, okay, we're going to consider. Plane stress analysis. Okay. What it means is stress X and stress Y, the normal stress, is not equal to zero, where stress Z is equal to zero. Okay. So this is an assumption that you make or we make. Another another possibility is stress X and stress Z is equal to is not equal to zero. Stress Y is equal to zero. And the third combination we can have is stress Y and stress Z are not equal to zero, but we can specify that stress X is equal to zero. Okay. So in plain plain stress analysis, we assume one of the direction to be equal to what? Equal to zero. Are we clear? Okay. Now, then if we were to now consider plane strain condition, okay, if we were to consider plane strain condition, Knowing that the word term over here becomes what? Strain rather than stress. What it means is strain in the x direction and strain in the y direction is, is so much greater than strain in the z direction. And for this case, stress x, stress y, and stress z will never be equal to what? Equal to zero. Why this is important, some of you might be taking finite element as a technical elective, you have to understand this concept. And when doing this, you also have to, I mean, doing structure analysis, you also have to understand the, this concept. And the next thing will come, the next condition is uh, strain in X and strain in Z is so much greater than strain in Y. Stress X, stress Y, and stress Z are never equal to what? Zero. And the third condition, when we assume plane strain condition, we have stress in Y and stress in Z 
is so much greater than strain, sorry, strain in X, i.e. stress X and stress Y and stress Z are not equal to zero. Basically, when we assume plane stress condition, you can use 2D what? Okay, you can just apply 2D mole circle. However, if you assume, yes, you have a hand up. And then, is that okay now? Okay, so where this case, stress X, stress Y, and stress Z is not equal to what? Zero. Are we clear? Okay, so that's a, so when we consider plane strain condition is usually what? We have to apply what? 3D more what? 3D more circuit. Okay. So plane stress, you can use 2D. Uh, sorry, when this is the case, you can use 2D or 3D. But when it's plane strain, you have to use what? 3D more circle. Are we clear? Okay. Then another term that you all have to know. Another term that you all have to know. The difference. What is the difference? Between in plane and out of plane. Okay, I tried reading the textbook. What do they mean by in plane? What did they mean by out of plane? I got nothing. You can Google this now. I'm pretty sure you will get nothing. Okay, so what do we mean by in plane? And what do we mean by out of plane? Okay, so it's not that com it's not that difficult, but it's not obvious. Okay, so now if I were to now sketch a transformation again, this is my x, this is my y, and this direction will be my z. And if I draw my element this way. Okay. And then if we look at our plane, this is our XY plane. Over here, this surface is on our what? XZ plane. And then this over here is our YZ plane. And if I were to write in, this is our in plane. And these are our out of plane. If I were to sketch this element in another orientation, okay, so if now I will sketch this orientation now. Hey, it's not an arrow, come on. How did it do that? Hey! Sticky salt, I did not want an arrow. So if now our element is oriented in this direction now, okay. So if we were to label them, this will be our exact plane. This will be our y z plane. And finally, this will be our x. Z, uh, no, our uh, y, x, y plane. When the orientation is done this way, this is our in plane. And these are known as our out of plane.
So can someone tell me how do we and identify whether is it in plane or out of plane? Anyone? Yes. Biggest area. So the in plane has the what? Largest surface area. Are we clear? Okay. So if we were to look at the problems that we have before last week, right? Can you all see? Oh, this one is not so obvious. I did not draw the transformation. If we have a problem that we done, uh, uh, maybe not this one, right? Like a problem like this. Can you all tell me which one is the in plane? Yes or no? Right. The bigger surface is a what? It's an in plane. The smaller surface area is our out of plane. By no means you will draw a cube. Are we clear? Cube? Not a clue. Okay. So whenever you draw an element in 3D, okay, you will never construct a what? Construct a cube. Okay. So we get all these terms. Right? So now you understand once you start reading textbook, what do they mean by plane stress, plane strain, in plane, out of plane? It's obvious now. Okay. I tried reading textbook for about three hours. I got nothing. Okay, by the way. Figuring in print. Okay. Right. So now let's do some basic on uh let's do an exercise on Mohs circle. Okay. Okay, so example number one. Before I go on. What is the purpose of learning more circle? Anyone? What is the purpose of learning more circle? No? Yes. Yes. Finding maximum principal stress. And I'll highlight that later on. Okay. What? Why is that important? I think I did that in first week of class. Okay, but probably all of you forgot. It's okay. Right, let's look at example number one. And example number one, we are going to focus on 2D mole circle. Let's do 2D mole circle first. 2D mole circle is the most difficult. 3D mole circle is just 10% more complicated. Okay. So now we have a transformation. This is X. And this is Y. A two, four, six. Okay. And over here we have a normal stress of eighty mega pascal, and then we have a shear. of 30 mega Pascal. okay so what we're trying to do is we are trying to determine the following what we're trying to do we're going to determine the first thing we like to determine are the 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 stress average we like to determine stress one and stress two which is known as principal stresses we like to determine our tau max okay so this is maximum shearing stress we like to also determine our principal plane And we like to sketch and label the orientation of the element at its principal plane. Okay. 
Mode circle, all these are the standard feature or standard information that we would like you to know. We are not going to use the formula because you will forget, I will forget, we just sketch. Before we sketch the circle, bone circle, we are going to look at the rules of the circle. Okay, so let's, let's before we go there, let's look at the rules of a circle. Before we go to the rules of the circle, we know that stress X is equal to positive 80 megapascal. Positive is because of what? The normal stress is in what? Tension. Are we clear? Okay. Shear XY is equal to shear YX, and this is equal to minus 30 megapascal. Okay. I'll tell you why positive, negative later on when I have the time. And the third thing is stress Y is equal to zero. Why stress Y is equal to zero? Anyone? Yes. Yeah, there's no stress there. We are engineers. We are not lawyers. It's not like how much you are paying me. I'll tell you what is the stress there. Are we clear? When there's no stress there, there's no stress there. Okay, right. Before we construct more circle, I want you all to look at the rules of the circle. Now, during your term, your final exam, you have to buy mathematical set, math mathematical instrument. You all know what's a mathematical instrument? Yes or no? It's something like this. Okay, you have to bring it, okay, because you're going to have a question on what? Mole circle, okay? How many of you have not used a compass before? Of you have, if not, start drawing circles. Are we clear? Okay, <laughs> one year I have student, I can't use a compass. Like, really? Okay, let's talk about rules of a circle. It was during COVID time, okay? I would like you all to sketch a circle if you can. Yeah, I wonder is this a good circle? Yeah, this is a good circle. And at this circle, I want you all to find, uh, I want you all to have a center point, okay? So you, you sketch a circle or if you have a compass, draw a circle. I have something round down here. If you want to use this, by all means, 